Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you how your iPad tests with Integrate our service now. So let's take a look at the big picture. So on the right hand side, you see the familiar UI path tools. So the Studio Pro for creating automation, the orchestrator, which lets you orchestrate the execution of your automation. And finally, the robots, which will run the automation. You can optionally use also a CI-CD pipeline to um, trigger executions on orchestrator. On the left hand side, you see ServiceNow. ServiceNow is an external tool which you use for HL planning, requirements management. It can even be used for test management. So how do we integrate all the UiPath capabilities with ServiceNow? The answer is the Test Manager Hub. The Test Manager Hub is an application which runs on the server and it works in the background. So its purpose is mainly to integrate external tools which are used in the development life cycle with automation for the purpose of testing. Um, in order to manage the testing, Test Manager Hub also hosts a web application, the Test Manager app. The Test Manager app is a browser application which lets you do requirements management, analytics and reporting, and manual testing. And it lets you do some documentation around your testing. And finally, it lets you manage your testing. So let's take a look from a more task-based uh, um, uh, perspective. Um, and let's see what we do in which tool. So we have an external tool in our example at ServiceNow. We are using it for HL planning and we are using it for managing defects. The Test Manager app with the Test Manager hub uh, will be used for managing the tests themselves automating those tests and we will use orchestrator for execution and do some result analysis and optionally create defects but those defects again will be created in service now and now let's take a look how this actually works so first we need test manager this is an empty project i created in test manager um, this is my ServiceNow instance. This is Orchestrator just there for uh, um, executing. So um, let's start right away. Uh, let's say we do HL development and I create, uh, I can create user stories here. So let's create a new user story. Let's call this one create savings account. Create savings account, this is for the UI bank. This is a virtual bank we always use in our demos. You will probably be familiar with it. So let's, uh, we could add some details here, but let's just submit this story for being uh, um, implemented. So create savings account. Let's take a look at the requirements in test manager. What we can see here is that create savings account has instantly being created in test manager as well. It has been created here not for the purpose of maintaining it here. It's just there to assign test cases to it. So this means this requirement is read only here. If I, for instance, want to add a description here, uh, I have to open it in ServiceNow. If you don't have a ServiceNow instance open, no problem. Just click on the link right beside the name and jump right into your requirement. So this is create savings account. I could add some description just to show you um, how easy you can update all the details uh, of your requirement. So we just um, updated it, create savings account, and let's take a look what happened in my um, in, in, in the test manager. 
uh, sim description, so it has been updated. So it's kept in sync, but the leading system is always service now. So next we want to do, we want to add an automated test case. So let's just create one. Let's create a test case for the happy path scenario. Create checking account. So optionally I can add a version here, a description or labels, but let's skip that part. So I have an empty test case here. Let's assign it to our requirement we just uh, got from ServiceNow. So we select assign to requirement. It's easy in that case, we only have one here. And now you can see it has been assigned successfully. Why this is so important, you will see uh, at the end of this demo. So let's take a look at the automation. We don't have an automation for this test case assigned yet. Uh, but to do so, it's easy. I already prepared uh, on UiPath Studio and I have to create checking account uh, um, automation already built. So this is my automation. Um, this automation will fail. I just uh, added a little bit trick at the end that lets it fail just to show you how it works. But first we want to link it. So I link it, it's already configured to select the right project. And let's just create a, a search for the test case create checking account. So I select it and click OK here. So now you can, now you have um, assigned this automation to our test case in Test Manager. Let's publish that change to Orchestrator. This is important, an important step in order to let Orchestrator know that this uh, automation has a corresponding test case in Test Manager. And so the results in the end when you execute can be mapped uh, properly. So let's jump back into uh, the Test Manager. Let's refresh. And you can see that uh, we have the information that this automation has been assigned here. So in order to execute this test case, uh, we have uh, to add it to a test set in Orchestrator. I already did that. I have a um, uh, test set smoke test UI on service now in Orchestrator. So in order to execute that, uh, the most convenient way is to do that from Test Manager. I change to the Test Sets section, uh, click the Link button, and uh, just search for my Test Set in Orchestrator. Um, and I find my Smoke Test UI Box service now here, and I link this Test Set. So ready to go? I can execute it now. Let's see what happens. It takes a moment for Orchestrator to uh, start the execution. We see the UI Bank application is started, the test is run, and in the end it does a validation, and this validation will fail. So we have to wait a couple of seconds uh, because Orchestrator now is in the background uh, uploading the results to Test Manager. It just takes a couple of seconds and we see we have a test result here with one failed test case. This is exactly what we expected because I made it fail. Let's take a look. Uh, this test execution in Test Manager has one failed test case. Usually it would have, of course, more test cases. For this demo, it's just one. So let's take a look at the details. So we see the details, the steps that has been, have been carried out, and we see that the verification has failed here. So the last step in this demo is to show you how to create a defect in ServiceNow. So we see that there is no defect linked. But if I decide now, OK, this is actually really a bug, uh, I want to create a defect. Just select the Create Defect function from the Tasks menu. It takes just one second and you see a defect has been created and a link 
is placed here inside this test result. So I can select it and jump into my ServiceNow instance instantly and I see my defect has been created with all the information about the steps that have been uh, executed. Um, you see the history and all the valuable information and most importantly it is also uh, related to the story I created in the beginning and this is why it is so important to assign the test cases to the requirements from ServiceNow because that way test manager knows um, which story in ServiceNow needs to be linked to uh, this <coughs> uh, test result. So um, we have in addition a screenshot. This screenshot has been created by uh, Orchestrator. Um, just uh, to show you, this is the screenshot and this tells you where the test case actually have failed. So this was the demo. Hope you enjoyed it.